creative continuity. We bring the convention to you. All right, this is Harold Gann with Creative Continuity with Larry Kenny. Well, how'd you get the opportunity to get started in the, the voice acting? Well, uh, I started as a disc jockey in radio. Uh, I actually hear it in your voice. You got yeah. a good disc jockey voice. Thank you very much. Uh, when I was 15 years old. Wow. 52 years ago. And uh, and I had always been a class clown. You know, I always always did uh, ran around doing cartoon type voices and impressions of famous people. Mm -hmm. And uh, that that led naturally to I, I used those I used voices like that on my uh, on my radio show the disc jockey. And then that led to doing commercials, and then eventually when I got to New York to doing shows like Thundercats and, uh, and commercials like uh, Count Chocula and, and Cocoa Puffs, which I've been doing for both of those for over 35 years now. Mm. That's how I got started. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so when, when the opportunity to play, like, hey, we're coming up with the show, did you see the audition you come about it, or did they come to you with the show idea? No, my agent called me one day and said, uh, as as is always the case, uh, you always your agent will call you and say, um, for example, uh, on Wednesday at two o'clock, you go to a certain place and you're auditioning for, you know, either this commercial or this cartoon series or whatever, and you go and uh, they they tell you as much as they want to tell you about the product or about the character or the show. And then uh, they give you a little while to look over the scripts. And then when it's your turn to go in the studio, you give them your idea of what the character should sound like, based on what they told you or whatever ideas you have for the character. And uh, you go home, and um, after they've auditioned a couple hundred people and they've decided, then you either get the phone call saying you got it, or you just don't hear anything, and then you know you didn't get it. Oh, okay. So what was your reaction when you got that call? Like, hey, you're going to be playing Lino. Uh, yeah, well, of course, nobody knew who Lino was at the time. Right, it right. Was a brand new series, but yeah, I was very excited. Uh, uh, mainly at, the, at that time, I was mostly excited because I used to watch Rankin Bass animated series when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, they made some of the most famous Christmas specials. So when I found out that I, I was going to be working for Rankin Bass, it was, it was quite an honor. I was very excited. Lino. Now, actually, hearing you talk, your pretty actual voice. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lion is pretty much my pretty much my voice. Just a little more dramatic on screen. You know? Right. I mean, I might be standing here talking to you and saying sort of omens come to my hand. I lion of omens. But on screen, it's you know sort of omens come to my hand. I lion of omens. <laughs> All right, that was awesome. That's acting. That's acting. All right. But then of course we got to do the, the chance to do uh, some quote cartoon voices. As the bad guy, the mutants. I played Jackal Man. Oh wow! We must get the Thundercats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you did Count Chocula. I have been for 35 years. You auditioned for that as well. Yes, but uh, in that event, for Count Chocula and for um, Sonny the Cocoa Puffs Bird, whom I've also been doing for 35 years. Right. I followed um, uh, guys who had already been doing it for a number of years, and and in those. Both of those cases, they wanted to recreate the sound that had already been there for a long time. It wasn't okay. uh, my job to come up with a new voice. Oh, oh, okay, okay. A fellow named Jim Dukas had been doing uh, Count Chocula for 10 or 15 years <coughs> uh, until he retired in 1978. And then I, I won the audition to take over that voice and do it pretty much the way he had been doing it. You know, okay. Count Chocula CD. Right, believe me. It just comes directly, you know. But with chocolate. Chuck McCann had been mm -hmm. doing Cocoa Puffs for about 25 years. I remember when I was a little kid, Chuck McCann was Cocoa Puffs, was um, Sonny the Cocoa Puffs. So they wanted me to pretty much match his voice for that too, which I did. Okay. All right, and you did. You played Bluegrass from uh, Silverhawk. On Silverhawk, I was Colonel Bluegrass. That's right. With his guitar, we did 65 episodes of Silver Rocks. We did 130 episodes of Thundercats. And out of those 130 episodes, which one was your favorite? Do you have a favorite um, episode that you voiced? I think I think where Lionel was still a little boy. Okay, and you played him as a little boy I as well. As a little boy, yeah. That was, uh, uh, that's okay. why it was fun because it was my voice, but I had to sound like I was like five years old. You oh, know? okay. And so I, that was fun for me to do. All right. Okay. But they were all fun. All right, now, the Thundercats rebooted, and you played Lionel's father, correct? Lotus, that's right. That was great because, uh, first of all, I thought it was a great homage to the original series. Uh, Warner Brothers was 
giving a nod toward you know the fans of the original series and to the cast and crew of, of the original series, uh, and also because um, well, it made a lot of sense because um, Lionel's voice was basically my voice 35 years ago, right? And Claudius's voice was pretty much my voice now. I'm a little, right. I'm a little gravelier than I was. So, um, and then, of course, for Claudius, I, I affected a little older sound. Made him a little more, you know, like, well, you know, you've got to stop what you're doing and be a man. You saw the reboot, yeah. and you worked on the original. Which one did you like better? I like the original better, but, I mean, that's natural. Uh, we did 130 episodes of that one, and I was only on two episodes of the new one. Right, right, right. Uh, but I thought they did a great job with the new one. The guys at Warner Brothers, Dan Norton and all the guys there. And I was very sad when it uh, when it got canceled. So we all worked together for a long time for Rankin Bass. Had a nice long run, five or six years uh, working together, you know, straight through. Harold Gant with Creative Continuity signing off with Larry Kenny. Thunder. Uh oh. Thunder. Uh oh. Thunder. 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 Thunder.